it's new bike day Joe's bike is arrived uh, so we're just going to go and pick it up arrived this morning we've been at work today so finally there it is Welcome back to the channel. It's Joe's new bike day. We're out just to test ride the bike. See how it performs and how it does on the local climbs around here. Should be a fun ride. So Joe's riding a Trek Verb 2 Plus and it's a low step model uh, 2023 edition and it comes with a Bosch uh, performance line motor which is uh, rated at 65 Newton meters. The bike has a 500 watt hour battery uh, with a Manufacturer claimed range of around 60 miles on eco mode but these ranges can vary depending on uh, the surface you ride, the weather condition, tire pressures uh, so on average you can expect to do around 50 miles on a single charge save the battery on eco on a flat on the flats and then just use the uh, power going up the hills it's uh, great to get into cycling cycling is something new new to you then uh, e-bike is the way to go so this is a class one uh, e-bike so you still have to pedal uh, you can even use it without the assist and use it as a normal bike uh, when we come to a stop I'll uh, do a quick walk around around the bike and uh, talk about everything that's on it quite a windy day uh, but it's nice to be out happy that my wife can also enjoy cycling and it's good to be out increase your gear job five six seven Yes, eco mode, that's it. How is it to ride? Good? Are you enjoying it?
well done Joe's flying up the hill I have to keep up <laughs> Stopped on this little uh, lay-by on the side. Uh, I'll take you around the bike for a closer look. So it's got um, Suntro shocks, uh, suspension forks on the front. Uh, lovely to cushion those rides, especially here in Pembrokeshire where the roads are decent but not very good. Uh, suspension seat post and. Uh, that's the Altus um, nine-speed drive train with a one-by setup. Batteries on the back, uh, so that's uh, Bosch Power Pack 500, and this bungee string, bungee cord. You can just carry stuff around, and um, Trek also do their own luggage system. So you just slide them on to these screws and uh, stay around and then down here this is a mid-drive motor from Bosch uh, it's a performance line uh, it's a really good motor very reliable um, service intervals are uh, really quite good on these and um, the bike also has hydraulic disc brakes front and back so you need that extra stopping power um, for a heavy bike I think the bike weighs around 22 kilos with the battery uh, which is quite decent for an e-bike uh, this is an extra small size frame uh, Joe's around 5 foot 3 5 foot 4 if uh, that reference would help and then this is the um, this is called the Bosch Intuvia heads up display so it gives you um, the range, your battery levels, and then you got modes to switch through Eco, Sport, sorry, Tour, Sport, and Turbo. And you can bring it down with the plus and minus on here. You can also turn it off completely if you don't want to. And then you also get your trip information, so your average speed, trip time, range, odometer, trip distance clock and your max speed uh, and then it also comes with built-in um, lights I th light at the front I think these are from Lezine and there's also an integrated light on the back so you don't need to fit extra lights for you uh, for your bike I think and these shocks are also uh, adjustable you can adjust the preload on these shocks you can have it firmer 
or if you want a softer suspension you can also dial up on the shocks and then there's a bell um, especially in the city if you're cycling and you need to uh, let people know you're coming well there um, and then that's the gear indicator so overall first impressions really impressed with the bike the frame is really good um, track do some lovely frames and the paint job is amazing uh, when when the sun hits when the light hits the frame it just pops out it's really amazing um, so this is an um, an aluminium frame and fork uh, there's no carbon fiber on this comes with integrated mud guards front and back and you also can lock the bike uh, with the integrated lock um, you can also put panniers on your side um, to go proper touring and the battery slips out there's a key for the battery so you can just put the key in slide the battery out take it home to charge or you can charge it when the battery is still intact and the port is there on the side uh, comes with a nice neat rubber um, hinge there so yeah so far it's been um, a good experience with the bike uh, I think we're gonna crack on with our ride. Um, so we've just come down towards Clarveston, heading to Spittal now. Uh, we'll do a loop around Spittal and head back home. Let's go, Joe. So first you need to build up speed and then change to higher gears. windy now. Joe still holding up. Uh, she's only lost one uh, one bar from the battery indicator which is quite good given the conditions today. I don't know if you can hear me. It's that windy now. Hopefully this will kickstart her cycling hobby and I will have to get more fitter uh, just to keep up with Joe <laughs> in the days to come as she uh, progresses with fitness. Uh, she's just getting to know the gearing 
getting the feel of it now. I remember she used to stop here with her old bike and then guts down a bottle of water but now she's like nah don't need it mate see you later I'm happy I can I could persuade her into cycling happy days Mrs is happy that's all you want in it on to the home stretch now uh, almost 30 kilometers and this is just so far the longest ride she's done Thanks for watching guys and uh, hope you'll enjoy this video uh, if you have any further queries on the bike and its specifications let me know I can put it out on Instagram or make another video for you guys if that helps cheers and see you in the next one bye bye